Here are the steps to create a group block in Opera. So let me close this one. So we need to go to blocks from reservation and then quick business block. And then from this window, we need to click on a new. And then from here, we are going to add the block name. So for example, the block, uh, the block that I'm working with, it's called uh, Joan and Andrew Wedding. When I click tab, because this block doesn't exist, uh, I click search. If the block name is exist, we'll see it here. If not, we'll click on new and we created new. So I'll click here, OK. And then in the group, I will just add also the same. Joanne and Andrew Wedding. And then here on the name, I will the same also, I'll click OK. If the name was not, because I was trying to create that block before, so I have the name here already. If it's the name is not there, you'll just need to click on New and then you will create it, uh, you'll create the name as a new name. So here I click on OK. And then here on the name, I'll just make it shorter. So I'll just write Joanne dash Andrew wedding. And then here on the start date, usually we'll allow ourselves a few days before the event or before the group. So for me here, the dates I'm choosing is 14 August to uh, 22 August. And here for the block code, we need to select three letters. So for this block, I'm going to use JAA. That will be our uh, block code. And then here we are going to select T1, the status. T1, verbal, verbal confirmation. Automatically, the reservation type will be changed to number nine, which is sales allowance. Market will select GCO, which is uh, corporate, group corporate, special corporate. And then source will put P, which is booked by the property. It's, uh, the reservation is coming from property. And here we click on save. Okay, for this window, when I click and save, it will ask us what is the event type. I click on the drop down menu. I will select convention and a group because this is a group. And then we hit save again. And then when we click on save, it will take us to the rate code. So here we need to create the rates. So what we're supposed to do, we select each room pool. So for example, my first room pool is the general, uh, general, which is our standard room. For the RAID program, that should be the three letters of the group, the block code, which is in our case here, which is JAA, that's the three letter. And then we'll have one letter which is ref referred to the room type or the room pool. And in our case here for the standard room or the genre, we'll select A. So that will be the four letter rate, uh, rate program. In the market, we'll select the same, but we'll add C, which is for the convention, the special group convention. For the description, I'll just add the group name. which is Joanne Andrew Wedding. And then I click tab, tab again. And here I'll just add the room type. And here we will add the rate. So let's say, for example, for this group, 
it's going to be maybe for single it's going to be 120 dollars for example and then for double it's going to be 130 and then I click tab again and then I click here to add this next room category and then it will be in this case GAA B for the second room category and then the market will be GAA B C and then here we'll add Joan Andrew Wedding again here we'll add the room type and we'll add the rate code and then we click OK after we add our rate programs we need to go to the grid and then we need to fill in our uh, uh, the blocked rooms for each room category so the easiest way is to click on uh, range so for example I will select for the two room categories and then how many rooms we'll have for single occupancy how many rooms we have for double occupancy so I'll assume that I will have five and five so we'll have 10 rooms each and then I click OK okay here in this case we don't have enough rooms okay so the system is automatically adding the the room numbers the blocks except for the nights that we don't have availability and then I'll click save and then OK here so here we have created the the block in Opera what we are what we need to click save again here what we need to do now is uh, we need to go to the configuration and we need to create the rate codes so I'll go here to configuration configuration rate programs rate codes and then what I'm going to do I will go, I'm going to click new it's important here to put the rate code which is our rate program in our in this case for example for the first category was GAA -A, 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 and the description okay I have already this rate code because I created it before let's say GAB okay I have it before maybe G A A C okay so that's for the third for the third uh, room category and here in the description I'll put again one Andrew wedding rate category here will put group folio text accommodation and then here the date you will add the today date because of course you want your reservation to be uh, your reservation team to be able to book the the group from today the begin sell date and then the end sell date usually you do it at the end of the event in this case here it was 22 August 23 and the market it will be the same GCO and source which is group convention the source will be booked by property and here you will add your packages if the rate you quote it is inclusive of breakfast you will add the breakfast package so for example here breakfast inclusive 
I will save okay I will add the package here for the infrastructure tax because here it's also as a package so we'll add all our packages save okay close and then depends if I want to show the rate to the guest or not depends on the terms and the conditions that you agreed with the group so for example in our case I don't want to show the guest the rates or untick this one and then here in the transaction code we'll add 1200 which is stand for uh, I'm sure that it's uh, it's the same also in your hotel but uh, that stands for group convention this one corporate group rate so we'll choose the corporate group rate and then one, once we click save transaction code for the package will be selected automatically because we have a package rate and then you go to the rate details and then here you add the rate you will add the room type once you do that you click save I'm not going to save this one of course once you do that automatically when you go to GXP you will see the group so what we are going to do for example let's say I'm going to uh, GXP here uh, I want to make a reservation within a group so assuming for example I did another group here so what I'm going to do I'll select the dates of course that second group I'm talking about is in April so let's say here from 3 to 4 April sell strategy I'll select group and then I will add the first letter of the group for example the first letter is Z because it's Zanzibar retreat and then I will click on find once you do that it will show you here the group so you select it and then you proceed with the reservation and that reservation will come to Opera with that uh, rate code that you configured in Opera